Welcome to this video that will show you how to use your old Wi-Fi router in conjunction with your new router to boost the signal strength of your network so you can get to it in more places around your house or have better connection on the other side of the house or in another level of your house like the second story or third story if you're rich. And the first thing we need to do is to take out your old router, plug it in with the power cord and hold the reset button for 10 to 30 seconds so it will reset the factory settings. After you have done that, well actually, we, the first thing you need to do is to disable your Wi-Fi by going to uh, right click and go to Open Network and Sharing Center and then change adapter settings. Okay. Right click Wi-Fi and disable it, I've already done that. And enable your Ethernet, Ethernet connection if you, if, if you have already disabled it. And that's what we're needing to connect to now. You have to connect first through cord to your new to your old router to do this because by default wireless access is denied to the admin page, which we are going to now. Open up Internet Explorer because Firefox does not like my old router. I have a WRT54G version 2. And then we go to 192.168.1.1 in the address bar and hit enter. It will ask you for a username and password. Use use the username blank, or don't don't put one there, and then type in admin for the password. And here we are. Here's the admin page for your old router. The first thing you need to do is go to wireless and select a wireless network name. I like to name mine after the firmware version of the current router, so I can keep an eye on which ones they are. Make this easier for me to remember. and then put MS Home after under it, at the end of it, and click Save Settings. Next, let's set wireless security so no one, can, no one else can get on it without us knowing, or people just using your internet freely. Just select WPA2 Personal and then AES, and type the eight digit password, which we're gonna use Bob12345 as the password, and click Save Settings. This will not cut you off because we're connected to a cord. Now let's wait for it to go back. Okay. Next, go to setup at the first part. Select your MTU size to manual in 1492. It's best for Xbox Live. And disable the DHCP server. The reason we're doing this is because this router will not be giving IP addresses out. It'll be used as basically a switch instead of a router. And because we're using the other router as basically the main router, we're using this other router that we're using, the secondary router, as, the, as a switch. And select Save Settings. Now, Go to Advanced Routing on the Setup tab, and go to Gateway and select Router. We're doing this because there are more than one router on their current network we have. And if you select Gateway, it will not work, but Router will. Ignore the rest of this and click Save Settings. Have to wait a couple seconds. Couple seconds. Okay. Well, okay. We've done enough that we need to do here. Now, take your a Ethernet plug from your other router and plug it into a client port, not the internet port, but a client port of your other router, of the old router, or the one we're using to boost. Plug the other cord in. You have to use cord. You can't use a wireless bridge because that doesn't doesn't work. With this doesn't work that way. You have to have a long cable if you want if you want to have this to work. Plug it into a client port, and I'll show you a picture of that right now. Okay, once we have that plugged in, minimize this, and then go to 
your network settings. Go to Network and Sharing Center. Go to Change Adapter Settings. Disable the Ethernet and enable Wi-Fi again. Minimize that. And it's already connected. Well, let's disconnect just for the heck of it. Okay, so connect automatically if you're going to be using this one permanently. Then click connect. And it will ask for a password here. Oh, I've already saved it, so it's Bob12345 is my password. So that is the one we just that we just connect <coughs> created. And let's test it out, see if the internet works. Let's go to Google. And it works. Actually, I found out that the routers that have the antennas on them have a better range than the wireless in router that I'm currently using as my main router before I did this. And so we have everything working right now. Now let's go back to Internet Explorer and see if we have an IP address. And one of my main problems is that it will not connect wirelessly. Right? You have to you have to select that manually. Now let's go and disable wi disable Wi-Fi again, and enable Ethernet. I forgot to enable wireless access to the, e the admin page. And Internet Explorer is freezing up. Okay. Here we are. We're on wired again. Now I'm not sure where the wireless. It's probably on this this tab. Eh, I don't know why. Well, we don't have an IP address because there's no plug plugged in to the internet port. They're both plugged into the client port. If you have an IP address here, you're doing something wrong. This is on the booster router. You should not have any IP addresses or anything here. And let's exit this. Disable the Ethernet. Enable Wi-Fi. And we're connected. And we have internet. Well, I hope this video was helpful and you can get more coverage in your house using two routers. Well, uh, thanks for watching.